Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Cybertruck design patent hints at folding rear seats for more utility and fun. Tesla submits Gigafactory Berlin approval documents, says Environment Ministry. Tesla Holiday Software Update gets public rollout with 2021.44.25.2. And, Tesla confirms to NHTSA it will halt in-car gaming while vehicle is in motion. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The Cybertruck will be a technology showcase for Tesla, as the vehicle would be fitted with the best innovations that the company can offer. Yet behind its bells and whistles, it appears that the Cybertruck also has a number of practical tricks up its sleeve, some of which could make the all-electric pickup truck one of the best campers on the market. A recently posted design patent from Tesla has revealed some details about the Cybertruck's seats. The design patent was quite simple, as it simply depicted the variations possible with the Cybertruck's first and second row seats. And while the front seats of the vehicle depicted in the patent are very similar to those in the all-electric pickup truck's prototype, the rear seats featured a pleasant surprise. Based on the design patent, it appears that the Cybertruck would be fitted with 60-40 folding rear seats. There's a number of advantages that such a design could provide. For one, folding rear seats would give Cybertruck drivers direct and open access to the vault. This could add more utility to the all-electric pickup truck, as it would allow drivers to transport long items that would otherwise not fit in the vehicle's 6.5-foot bed. It's not just all work and no play, however, since the Cybertruck's folding rear seats also seem perfect for in-car camping. Tesla has not advertised the Cybertruck as an adventure or lifestyle vehicle, but it would likely be used as such by some of its owners. The folding second row seats should then provide campers with ample sleeping space from the rear seats all the way to the vehicle's vault. Teslas are perfect for camping. Thanks to their large batteries, they could maintain their cabin temperature without taking a significant range hit. Tesla has even rolled out camping-specific features for its electric cars, such as the popular camp mode, which has proven quite popular among the company's customers. Moving to the next update, Tesla submits Gigafactory Berlin approval documents, says Environment Ministry. Tesla has submitted all of the required documents for the German state of Brandenburg to approve the operation and production of electric vehicles at the company's first European production facility, known as Gigafactory Berlin. The Environment Ministry of the German state of Brandenburg announced that it had received all necessary documentation from Tesla and any relevant agency. The approval process is still ongoing, and there is no current projection of when the approval could be passed down. Tesla has been developing Gigafactory Berlin since late 2019, when CEO Elon Musk announced the plant's creation while accepting an award. It has been anything but a smooth process for the Silicon Valley-based carmaker, as government regulations and resistance from local citizens and environmental groups have derailed the process on several occasions. The plant was expected to begin production in late summer or early fall, according to Jorg Steinbach, Minister of Economics, Labor, and Energy, of the state of Brandenburg. The plant was then rumored to hit its most recent snag in early December, when water pumping delivery rates for the nearby Eggersdorf Waterworks had approved increased water pumping rates without the necessary testing. Reports indicated that some observers had doubted that Tesla would be able to receive approval and begin production before 2022. The imminent operation and manufacturing approval now depends on the government's ability to give Tesla the green light which is now possible because agencies have received all of the necessary paperwork, according to Reuters. Whether Tesla begins production before the end of 2021 ultimately leans on how quickly the documents are approved and the automaker is given a thumbs up to begin production. Brandenburg Minister President Dietmar Woidke said a decision might come in early 2022. Elon Musk has been critical of the German bureaucratic process and has stated in the past, that it has slowed down much of Tesla's efforts in Germany. 
Tesla even submitted a request to the German federal government in April that claimed the country should revise its permit approval process. Tesla will build the Model Y all-electric crossover, its most popular vehicle, at Gigafactory Berlin when production begins. Moving to the next update, Tesla Holiday Software Update gets public rollout with 2021.44.25.2. A few days later than originally anticipated, Tesla's 2021 edition of the holiday software update is getting a public rollout on Thursday evening, with the deployment of 2021.44.25.2. The update was first detected by Tesla tip on a Model 3 in Germany at 5.35 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Since then, a number of installs have appeared in the US and an even smaller number in Canada with Tesla Fi reporting just three vehicles, with the new software north of the border. One of the lucky few to receive it in the first wave was Model Y performance owner Waylead, who shared photos of the release notes on Twitter, showing that all of the features that were leaked in the employee version earlier this week have appeared in the public release. This includes the light show, with a bonus for 3 and Y owners with the new headlights, new user interface, blind spot camera, TikTok, Sonic the Hedgehog, and a whole lot more. At least one new feature that wasn't seen until now is the boombox megaphone, which uses the car's internal microphone to project your voice over the external speaker. This is similar to Sentry Mode Live Camera Access, which uses your mobile device to project your voice. Here's a quick demo of the new megaphone feature. You just turn it on, and everything I say is going through the megaphone and it's lowering my voice. These cars are crazy. Testing. Overall, the holiday update looks quite amazing, giving Tesla owners a lot to entertain themselves this Christmas. Moving to the last update, Tesla confirms to NHTSA it will halt in car gaming while vehicle is in motion. Tesla will deactivate gaming features while its vehicles are in motion, following the launch of an NHTSA probe into the feature, the agency confirmed recently. The NHTSA announced that it would launch a probe, investigating the passenger play features within a Tesla. The probe, affecting over 580,000 Tesla vehicles, will look into the aspects of the feature, including the frequency and use scenarios of Tesla passenger play, it said. The probe was announced just two weeks after the NHTSA said in a statement on December 8 that it was discussing the feature with the manufacturer, attempting to gather any information or evidence that Tesla's in-car video games are a violation of the Vehicle Safety Act. Safety is central to NHTSA's mission, and we are committed to improving safety for all road users. Distraction-affected crashes are a concern, particularly in vehicles equipped with an array of convenience technologies, such as entertainment screens. We are aware of driver concerns and are discussing the feature with the manufacturer, the NHTSA said. Now, the NHTSA has told Tesla Roddy in a statement that Tesla has agreed to halt the in-car gaming system in its vehicles while the car is in motion. The NHTSA said the following. Following the opening of a preliminary evaluation of Tesla's passenger play, Tesla informed the agency that it is changing the functionality of this feature. In a new software update, passenger play will now be locked and unusable when the vehicle is in motion. The agency maintains regular discussions with all manufacturers to discuss potential safety concerns of these systems, including Tesla's response to our concerns about this feature. The Vehicle Safety Act prohibits manufacturers from selling vehicles with defects, posing unreasonable risks to safety, including technologies that distract drivers from driving safely. NHTSA constantly assesses how manufacturers identify and safeguard against distraction hazards that may arise due to faults, misuse, or intended use of convenience technologies, including infotainment screens. We will continue to do so. NHTSA also reviews consumer complaints and a massive amount of data that companies are required to submit on a regular basis, looking for evidence of safety risks. If the data show that such a risk may exist, NHTSA will act immediately.
Tesla arcade games will now only be activated while the car is parked. Previously, games were accessible while the driver was operating the car, but games were only playable by the passenger. However, the games could be a bit of a distraction, which may have been the key reason that Tesla chose to disable the feature. The NHTSA still is working on concluding its preliminary evaluation as it works with Tesla to gather more information on the capabilities. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.